start. We're back on What's Cooking on News 12 Connecticut. I'm Amanda Bergen. Nick Vugel from Ridgeway Pizza in Stamford is sharing some of his secrets of the pie. I want to remind everybody that um, Ridgeway Pizza was voted best pizza in delivery, pizza delivery Stanford, pizzeria in pizza Stamford. Yep. And let me tell you, I now know why. This is delicious. We just made Clams Casino, and I'm demolishing it as we go. We want to move on to one of your other specialties, the Hawaiian pizza, yes. which I also love. So do your dough thing again. Yes. I can't ever get enough of this, the dough thing. This here, What's we the trick a lot to of them. spinning it? Really just practice. It just, it's just like driving a car. <laughs> you just, <laughs> once you learn it, it's there. <laughs> so how did you get into this business, Nick? I started when I was about 12, 13 years old, working for the local pizza places yeah. in Stanford. And um, from there on, when I was 13, about, about 14, I knew how to put a pizza in the oven and continued. Really? I liked it. Doesn't I guess you did. And I know you have four kids who probably like pizza too. Yeah, they, yes, they do. <laughs> All for them. Do you think any of them will go into the business? Um, not that it's a bad business, but we try to push schooling and you yeah. know college first. Yeah. But it's not a bad business to fall off, mm -hmm. fall back on. Mm -hmm. All right. So the sauce. We promised that we'd let everybody know how you chose your special sauce. Yes. What did you do? How did this come well, out? Well, we first opened up 11 years ago. We um, we got together about 30 or 40 friends, mm -hmm. and we had a taste test. I made about 10 different sauces. And you and made them up. These weren't, yeah, weren't ten different sauces. recipes. Small, you just made them up. No, we just made them up. How and did kept you know how to make stuff. them? Oh, just that comes with experience. <laughs> you know, we just um, oh, just from experience. We we um, we uh, had them tasted, and mm -hmm. out of the the friends we had, we stuck with the sauce that uh, eighty percent of them chose. Okay. And uh, to this day, thank God, it's been successful. And, you know, you know. Mm. What what is it about this particular sauce that you think people like? Well. I, pizza, it's the sauce, it's um, also the dough, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it, it's like a third, third, and third, everything got to be perfect. Yep. It's not just about one thing. Some people say, oh, the ovens. No, mm -hmm. it's not about the ovens, it's mm -hmm. about everything. It's a combination, it's a heart. Mm. Is what it is. All right, so the, the pineapple is going on before the cheese. Yeah, this that's is how interesting. We do it. Yes, that's how we do it. <laughs> do the you reason put, for that? What, 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 what? The do you tell? What's the secret? Uh, because... Uh, when you put the cheese on top, it forms like a cement barrier, mm -hmm. so it doesn't... Uh, Not that it tastes like cement. No, no, no. <laughs> it, 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 it goes in between the toppings, so this mm -hmm. way the cheese doesn't fall off. Okay, so the, the ingredients it, 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 don't fall off, right? Exactly. It melts in between mm. it. Yes. All right, so pineapple, do you use fresh pineapple? Oh, yes, we oh, do. Yeah. On it. We get the fresh pineapple, we chop it up. Are most of your ingredients fresh? Yes, they are. Yeah. We, we try to use nothing canned unless we mm. absolutely have no choice. How much sauce do you make in a week? How many big bats? <laughs> I say we go through about, in cases, we do about nine cases wow. of sauce. That probably equal about 100 gallons. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, ham. What kind of ham are you using? Uh, boar's head. Mm -hmm. uh, chopped up boar's head ham. We, use, uh, we put all our toppings on the bottom except pepperoni because pepperoni is red. And it and sometimes you don't, you don't know if it's the sauce or the pepperoni. <laughs> so you want you want to make sure people know what they're getting, right? Exactly. <laughs> All right, can I try my hand? Sure. All right. Now I see that you're doing it sort of sparingly so as not to clump in any one exactly. place. Exactly. All right. Exactly. And grande, you got to use grande cheese. That's like the best. What cheese? Grande cheese. Grande cheese? Yep. What's that? Is that it, a it, kind? The, it's, yeah, it's, okay. it's, uh, it's the best cheese you could, you could buy for, okay. for pizza. And what is, is it mozzarella? Yes, it okay. is. Okay, grande mozzarella. Whole milk mozzarella. Oh, yum. Yes, it is. All right. Okay. Why don't you stick that in the oven? And as luck would have it, we have one of just the same kind that is in the oven and ready to come out. So why don't you do the switch? Can you do the switch? Yes. Okay. We're going to take the Hawaiian out. Don't burn your hands. Nope. And we're going to give that a try. Oh, that looks so good. You all right? Yes. <laughs> Oh, this is my lucky day. My lucky, lucky day. Don't, how are you not burning your fingers? Oh, you, believe me, you get used to this, believe it or not. <laughs> you must have iron fingertips. All right, ready? Dumped it out. Are you going to have a piece with me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. That's a perfect mixture of salty and sweet. Mmm. Nick Bocal, thank you so much. No problem, thank from you. From Ridgeway Pizza in Stanford. We're going to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere because we'll have a new chef on What's Cooking in less than two minutes.
Well, welcome back to What's Cooking here on News 12 Connecticut. I'm Heather Kovar in honor of the honor.